Hello and welcome. Today I want to walk through an example of using Dialogflow with Terraform so that you can spin up uh, conversational agents and all of their settings, things like flows and intents and entity types, uh, all using that as represented as code with Terraform. Uh, so if you're familiar with Dialogflow, you might have used Dialogflow in Google Cloud. Um, there is a quick start that you can walk through in the documentation. Uh, so if I go to the documentation and build an agent, you'll see that there is an example like this, and it lets you build an agent that is a chatbot that lets you uh, ask about the location of a store, hours of the store, and even place an order for a t-shirt, uh, gathering information like the color and the size of the t-shirt. Um, so there's a bunch of steps here that you would perform in the Dialogflow UI. And when you're done, you'll get something like this, where it has all of the flows set up and the welcome intent, uh, different routes based on uh, different utterances and intents. And so you can walk through all the steps in the quick start, or uh, I wanted to show you today how to manage these agents with Terraform. So if you've used Terraform before with Google Cloud, you'll know that there's a number of different Terraform modules. Uh, there is one for Dialogflow. So Dialogflow CX has uh, modules for agents, uh, flows, intents, pages, and it talks about which uh, arguments are supported, which are required, which are optional, uh, and it maps to all the things that you see in the Dialogflow UI. So let me show you how it works. Uh, if I open up a terminal, uh, I have a repository in GitHub, and in this repository is a number of Terraform scripts uh, in here. So you can see inside of here, there's things like uh, we point to the provider, uh, we, we set up an agent programmatically with a, in a certain region with a certain language. Um, and then from there, once the agent's created, we can create different pages, uh, like a location page, hours page with different responses. Um, we can set up intents and all kinds of good stuff. So here's our training phrases. Um, all of these things would typically be inside of the Dialogflow UI. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to see a list of entity types, um, I can see all that here. Or if I represent that in Terraform, um, I can see all of the entity types here. Uh, so let's spin this thing up. Uh, to actually use this, there's some steps in the readme that walk through uh, how you go about using this. So you'll need a Google Cloud account. You'll need to enable the Dialogflow API. You'll need to install the gcloud CLI tool and finally install Terraform. Once you've done that, you can clone this repo and you can go inside of the Terraform directory. And inside of there, uh, I've already done this, but you can run Terraform init uh, to get the provider plugins. After that, we can do Terraform apply. Um, it's gonna give me back the planned resource changes and I accept them. And now I can go back to Dialogflow and we should see a new agent. And it looks like it's finished in just a few seconds. It's configured our agent and there we are. So you kind of have the end product uh, with just running one Terraform command. So if I go in here, I can see it set up all the transition routes, set up the pages, um, it's set up intents and entity types, all of that from one Terraform apply command. So that's super nice. And if I wanna change something, uh, let's say that I wanted to change this entity type uh, I could just go in to my Terraform scripts and go to entity types. And let's say that I wanted to add a new entity type, just add it there to the Terraform, rerun the apply command, confirm the changes. And by the time I switch back to the UI, I can see it's already added and synced my change here to the entity types. So this is a really nice way to be able to represent all of the hundreds of config options that you can set up for an agent um, and do that programmatically with Terraform. Um, it also makes it really nice. I can version control uh, all these Terraform scripts. I can, um, I can control the state. And so I have all of my changes represented whenever I uh, change something in my agent. Um, so super cool way to get started with Terraform. Um, there is one piece I wanted to point out here. If you look in flows.tf, uh, so let's look at that in here in GitHub. Um, you'll see that this one looks a little bit different than the others. And that's just because when you create an agent in Dialogflow, it automatically creates a default start flow. Uh, and if you try to create that with Terraform, it just gets unhappy because that's already been created outside of Terraform. 
So what this file does is that it uh, basically makes a REST API call to Dialogflow uh, and issues a HTTP patch. Uh, and it says, you know, update these um, intents and target pages. So this is setting up transition routes with an API call um, just because it's already been set up by Dialogflow. The nice thing is, even though we have to make a REST API call, we can still templatize it um, and have uh, Terraform trigger this REST API call with variables um, that we're using from other uh, Terraform controlled resources like intents and pages. Um, and then there's also a destroy time provisioner to actually remove those transition routes before we tear down the agent. Otherwise, Terraform will complain uh, because there's things that have changed that it didn't manage. So nonetheless, um, that's the only kind of odd part of this Terraform. Everything else is uh, kind of first class managed by Terraform. So if I go to intents, I can see it's using the Dialogflow CX intent. Um, and it's a very cool way to be able to manage all of this stuff. And from here, there's a couple things I can do. I could continue to add to my Dialogflow agent. Um, and add you know, additional pages, additional tents, have those trigger retraining uh, uh, on Dialogflow. Or I could use um, other um, Google Cloud Terraform resources like Document AI or Firebase or GKE, um, things like that, and, and really make a nice stack that I could use with Dialogflow. Uh, so maybe that's a good topic for a future video where we tie together uh, things like Dialogflow plus BigQuery plus GCS. Um, all from a Terraform stack. So hopefully you find that useful. Uh, check out this GitHub repo if you want to try things out yourself. Um, you can go in here and uh, spin up a Dialogflow CX agent in just a few seconds uh, with one command. So give it a try, see how it works for you. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more in the future about different ways of interacting with conversational agents as code with things like Terraform, um, JSON exports, um, and just being able to manage agents uh, um, in programmatic ways in addition to making manual changes in the UI. So thanks a lot. I hope you found that useful, and I will see you next time.